um, I think the ECR, in, uh, the ECR initiative is, 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 is like a profound initiative and like, like this is my first time attending a big conference and I was in, I was in, like I was super impressed as to how well produced it was and how well organized it was and it was not something that was just tacked on to the conference for the younger researchers. Like there were events like these abstract uh, talks and stuff going on throughout the throughout the conference. There were the meet and greet, uh, the career development seminars, and so forth. And even these initiatives to um, you know network with the more mature scientists or more developed sci scientists. So I think it's really really well done. And I do, like I would like to you know continue on and hopefully in the future I can contribute to this issue. I think that, exactly, so since we come from different backgrounds, I think that this will enrich quite a lot of the organization. I really believe that we are not only here to bring new ideas, I think that this is the kind of obvious answer, but also to somehow destroy some myths. So coming from different backgrounds, we are able to see things from different perspectives and thinking novel usage for, for the kind of things that are developing. So in, in my case, I was interested in knowing how the project or specifically the RNA the proteins control the transcriptome, but also a little bit the other way around, how non-coding RNAs are also controlling some protein complexes. The issue there was that there was not efficient protocol to do it. Indeed, there was not a protocol to do it. So what we decided is to develop a new methodology able to address this question. And what is really important for us is doing it simple and doing it cheap. And what we have obtained is a method that is 100 times more efficient and it costs around one pound per sample to really recover RPDs. We have been characterizing it using quantitative proteomics that SADAC and GMT to bring the community a protocol that is just 45 minutes, one pound, and you have a sample. For my project, um, basically since 2014, uh, we've been in collaboration with the investigators from the Human Protein Project um, to derive um, the most studied or most popular proteins from individual uh, disease views. And so the um, motivation behind that was um, basically that uh, um, we want to know the current trend and focus of uh, medical research so that we can uh, focus our effort into developing um, quantitative um, target protein assays um, for these uh, important protein. And um, but the challenge is that we have um, so many proteins in the human genome, um, so human proteome, so we have 20,000 proteins, and um, we can't really develop uh, quantitative assays for well, every protein at the same time. And so we decided to figure out what are the uh, most important proteins, um, but we couldn't find a couldn't find a way for us to objectively measure what are the most important most studied proteins. And um, so our solution is for us to basically develop our own method, uh, our own computational approach. Uh, to look at um, what are the most popular proteins um, with a um, PubMed analysis, a many PubMed analysis. I think you definitely have to love proteomics. <clears throat> so that's the first questions that they should ask themselves, um, that you have to really have a passion for science because we can get so depressed um, when our experiments don't work and we have to spend uh, long hours in the lab. And um, so are you willing to, to um, perhaps sacrifice a little bit um, for the advancement of your career? And so, but as I said earlier, I think work-life balance is also very important. Um, it helps people um, with um, their creativity with life um, to have a balance of uh, work-life balance. And so in terms of um, technology-wise, I think um, we should definitely move on from um, just looking at the um, um, quantitation of expression. Quantitation is extremely important. Everything uh, should involve quantitation. But we should um, move towards 
um, also other parameters of the proteome. So perhaps not just um, um, steady state expression level, but perhaps um, um, in terms of protein-protein interaction, uh, uh, protein turnover, and um, protein post-translational modeling.